Hello, this is Dr. Mark Miravalli from the Franciscan University of Steubenville, and I've been asked to comment on the opening couple weeks of the year 2009. Quite frankly, my friends, people have contacted me asking me to say a few words about my perspective of just how difficult it has been. Is it too much too soon in the year 2009? People have contacted me discussing things like the new levels of suffering. They have begun since the beginning of 2009. Uh, new levels of family strife, of uh, difficulties in marriages, of uh, older children falling into depressions, of uh, a general sense of spiritual oppression, uh, particularly uh, for many since the election of the new president. I want to comment on this in, in, in the most clear Catholic way I can, and that is hope, joy, peace. And what I mean by that is saying, yes, first of all, we have to acknowledge it may be uh, more difficult on, on a new level, on an unprecedented level. We look out to the world and what do we see? Uh, we see a world economic crisis. We see, once again, warring in Palestine and Israel that affects the whole world. We see the unprecedented starvations in Africa and the violation of human rights. We see the oppression of the Chinese people in the form of a government that does not respect their personal dignity, does not give them a freedom of religion or a freedom of family life. Recently in the news there was the case of a mother who strangled her first child so she could have another child, strangled the child to death. And then we look to the West and we see growing secularization and humanism and rejection of God. Uh, even now what is taking place in Europe where there are public agnostic uh, ceremonies and public presentations being held in the public, spares, uh, public squares of many major cities and, and countries presently going on in Spain. Then we go to our own country, the United States, and we see that in the first uh, week or uh, 10 days since uh, the president has been elected and inaugurated, uh, we see things like the revocation of the Mexico City policy. Uh, what does that mean? The Mexico City policy was a policy that forbade the use of taxpayers' money for any international agency that supported abortion. Uh, that has now been revoked. We saw in this past week the FDA uh, giving license to the use of embryonic stem cell research and, a pro and a associated therapy uh, for human therapeutic means, particularly with spinal columns. And uh, this again is at the cost of unborn children. So, is it difficult? Absolutely it's difficult. And if you find that you are one of the people that are saying, it's too much too soon, uh, things are happening around me, uh, I'm feeling a state of, of depression or oppression like never before, then I would say these two things to you. Number one, you're not alone. There are many people that are feeling unprecedented crosses in their life. Number two, there is a remedy. My friends in Jesus and Mary, we've been prepared for this time. Our holy faith prepares us for crosses in every time. The gift of the Eucharist and the power of our Eucharistic Jesus, the sacrament of confession where we're able to clean our souls in any way from, from participating in any way in the culture of death or the culture of worldliness that is uh, ubiquitous in our own time. And then we have indeed the rosary, the power of the prayers of our Blessed Mother. But again, I want to go back to a statement Cardinal Ratzinger said in a book, in an interview in 1985, when he was asked about these things, about the crisis of the world, the crisis of woman, the crisis of morality, he said, the remedy is Mary. And again, I say to you, the remedy is Mary. Hasn't Our Lady been preparing us for especially challenging times just like this? If you've been open to the legitimate Marian messages to the modern world, you're not surprised by new levels of society and culture breaking down. Our Lady has told us that this would happen. We must keep our peace. We must keep our peace. And the first question is, well, where do you get peace in a situation like this? It's a peaceless environment. 
You're absolutely correct. And that's why the peace has to come from within and from above. We get peace, the spiritual peace of Jesus Christ, which is a gift of the Holy Spirit, through greater prayer, fasting, conversion, and penance. That's what brings us spiritual peace. And I think here's a time we all have to examine, especially those of us who are going through perhaps unprecedented crosses of, of a world situation or of an economic situation, losing jobs, or even of a family situation, depressions and breaking up of marriages and, and children straying from the faith. Are we not indeed um, been prepared for this by Our Lady in such way that it's now time to say, perhaps I could be more prayerful. If you're not going to daily Mass, prayerfully consider going to daily Mass. And, you know, yeah, we might be quick to say, yeah, but that's not going to solve the real problem. It is going to solve the real problem if we understand the real problem is that we have to keep our peace, the peace of Christ, no matter what happens on the outside. We have control of that. And sometimes it's only that. We have control of our hearts. We have control of how we can maintain ourselves through a time of perhaps unprecedented difficulties surrounding us, whether it's our family, our jobs, or the entire world. We can control that. Jesus allows us to control that, and that's through prayer. I invite you, friends, in the hearts of Jesus and Mary, to consider the following things. Number one, daily Mass. If you're not going to daily Mass, try your best to rearrange your schedule to receive the gift of the day for the faithful, and that's our Eucharistic Jesus. If you can't go to daily Mass, try the process of beginning spiritual communions through the day. Uh, that is where you ask Jesus to enter your heart spiritually because you cannot receive him physically. The saints call spiritual communions the silver chalice that you, you want to drink from if you don't have the gold chalice of the real, the full body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, Eucharist, daily Mass if possible, if not possible, if absolutely not possible, then spiritual communions. Number two, some time of visits of the Blessed Sacrament. If you can't do it every day, a couple times a week, go into a church that God willing is open and unburden your heart. Tell Jesus every suffering, every worry, every feeling of being overwhelmed. He wants to hear that because he knows you're experiencing it anyway. And you give it to him. You release your heart and the difficulties of your heart to him and you will immediately sense a peace. I promise you, I promise you. Go to our Eucharistic Jesus. Go to the Blessed Sacrament and give him your worst so he can give you his best, which is a peace. He'll exchange suffering and woundedness and feelings of loneliness and isolation and rejection and depression with peace. However gradual, he will give you peace. Number three, you've got to make consecration. You've got to consecrate yourself to Our Lady, especially during this time. Go on the internet. You can go to uh, motherofallpeoples.com and look at the consecration prayers that are there. Or go to uh, punch in Marian consecration prayer in, on, uh, on a Google search. And you'll get consecration prayers or, of course, at a Catholic bookstore. Consecrate yourself to our Blessed Mother so she can protect you like never before. And ultimately, offer these sufferings. These are of tremendous value. The sufferings of your family, of your marriage, of your work situation, of your environment is tremendously fruitful. One person told me uh, after Mass the other day, he said, I'm praying to Jesus and Mary, but they're not hearing me. I, I, I guarantee you they are hearing you, and they're, they're producing fruits. God makes good out of everything, including exactly what is wrong with the world right now. God will make good of this. We have a promise, my friends. We have a promise that in the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph, and a period of peace will be granted to the world. Bank on that promise. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith, don't lose joy. And all of those things come from our Lord and our Blessed Mother. We've been prepared for this, and I'm telling you from my heart to yours, we can do this. We can make it through this difficult time. Now and no matter what comes, let's stay in peace and let's ensconce our hearts between the hearts of Jesus and Mary. This is Dr. Mark Mirabelli saying, God bless you.